My name is Yedei Muero. I'm 25. I'm from Mexico. I'm from Texas, from the United States. I'm a research fellow from London, actually. I'm studying the environment science and policy and management department at ECU. I'm actually starting uh, the process of writing my dissertation on constitutionalism and multi-party democracy in Africa. You grew out of a uh, transformation that was taking place in this region after the fall of the Berlin Wall uh, and the emergence early on of new democracies. When I heard about uh, Central European University and the idea, George Soros's idea, of creating a place that would be distinctive would not be just a replication of the West. Why should you do that? But would, would draw upon the distinctive experience of this area and others from the former Soviet Union to do something that would be open. I decided that I have to try to have some education abroad just to experience the difference. And then I came across this place in uh, Budapest, in the heart of Europe, in the heart of New Europe. I think it's a crossroads city in many respects. It's a crossroads city the same way that CEU is a crossroads university. It looks east and west at the same time. What you have at CEU is a, is a context in which the globe is really the globe, and there is no corner of the world really that is seen to be somehow peripheral. There's no majority culture to which people want to assimilate. There is no majority culture. And so the, it's kind of a loud cacophony of people with different ideas and backgrounds and experiences. As every people, not only communicate to Armenians, but they make French here, you know, and Croatians with the um, Serbians, with Serbs, they, they, they really communicate here. So it is just not the neutral place, it's, I don't know, the place which promotes um, tolerance. That is very important. That class on political economy really opened my mind to many more ideas. Just not even concrete answers, but just opening my mind to asking different questions than what I would have done uh, for, my, for my academic background. We are the only university that has as its mission the study and understanding of changes in democracy and open society. And the basic principle of open society is free and open discussion of ideas. And sometimes you have eye-opening moments where people uh, start debating a topic and then they realize, wait, this is just what one side tells and the other side tells a completely different story. There is some understanding of democracy. However, there is no perfect understanding of democracy. That's what I think. I think what we learn in our course is that we are part of the solution. I needed to continue uh, with my studies in order probably to be in a position to offer some voice or some perspective, uh, especially an African perspective. I feel that across the globe, working on the issues of minority groups, specifically women's group, the grassroots strengthening is very important as well as the policy advocacy. And this is what my future plan is going to be. 
I believe that coming closer home, it's actually uh, giving me an opportunity to understand myself better. Um, as a Boston American, uh, constantly trying to figure out and define your own identity, I think it's very important to come back to, uh, to, to the region. You have to question your own past and what is written there and the relationship between the text and your daily experience and then rethink your own existence. I think that this is a very important knowledge and fortunately and unfortunately at the same time this university is perfectly situated to teach that.